what's up guys and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so friday today is the 31st yes so friday january 31st daily energy now this is going to be for all signs guys and at the end we'll do a pick a card so you guys can choose more personalized advice all right so what is today's daily energy January 31st. What can we expect for today? Move all these tarot decks that I have. Okay. What is Friday's daily energy? Alright guys, so we have the Page of Wands in the reverse, the Magician, and we have the Three of Cups, okay? We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse, Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups in the reverse. So honestly guys, I'm seeing that someone is realizing that something isn't what it seems. Um, maybe there's a situation in love where there's a third party situation, someone could be juggling lovers. Um, but I feel a loss of some sort with something that a person was hoping for um, because someone's just not receptive to it. Okay. So let's see why these cards are here. Why is this Page of Wands in the reverse here? Three of Swords in the reverse. Why is this Magician here? Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And why is this Three of Cups here? The Emperor. Yeah, there's something that you guys stop waiting on and something that may seem burdening, but it's just something you don't, it's like, it's just too difficult at this point. You you don't want the burden of it. So there's something that you literally stop working on or that someone stops putting effort in, um, especially if it has to do with you. Okay. Now with the emperor and the three of cups, it could be that there's, you know, friends or a group of people around you that really help you um, to boss up and look at things in a very realistic way. This could be you celebrating some sort of uh, triumph that you get just from bossing up with something. Let's pull one more card here. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like there's going to be people, guys, that help you today to release something that's just not working for you. And they, it's like they, they speak power into you and they uh, make you realize that there's a particular path you should be following. That it's like you're, you're respecting yourself while following that path. Okay. But there's a lot of clarity that something needs to end. Okay? And maybe somebody's upset about it, but you guys dodged a bullet. There's something here that um, was just out of your control at this point. For some people, it could be travel plans that get canceled as well. Okay? All right, guys. So think of a card, one, two, or three. And that will be your personalized advice. And we'll talk about it. And guys, everyone always asks about this deck. It's completely, like, my favorite deck right now. But the Light Series Tarot, if y'all want to check it out. Alright guys, so meditate on the number one, two, or three, and that'll be your advice for today. We got one, two, and three. All right. So just as a regular energy or an energy for everything, we have the two of pentacles in the verse, which talks about balance, um, making a decision. There might be something that you haven't fully closed out, but something good is still coming into your life. Something unexpected that um, really helps you to work through and to expand. The biggest issue I'm saying, guys, and this is going to be like a general advice for everybody, is that mentally uh, there could be things holding you back. It's, you have something so good in front of you, but you're not able to fully delve into it. 
you know, because of where your mind could be at. So let's start with advice card number one. All right, so we have the judgment card upright. Now, this is a very powerful card, guys, because it's at a point where you have to decide if something is good or if it's bad for you and you're making a final decision. You're making a final call. There's no wavering with this. Once that decision is made, that's what it is. All right, so why is this judgment card here as your advice for number one? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, let's pull one more card. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, guys. So, yeah, there may have been something that upset you or something that just wasn't working out. It was out of your control. Um, but you guys are going into something that's going to be very long term. This could be something that brings a lot of wealth. This could be um, a relationship or just some sort of partnership that comes in where a lot of revenue can come in. Okay, or where there's just, uh, you know, people being good. This could be a couple that just they, they make good money together. All right. But with you guys mentally getting past something that is just it's making you so anxious but you've done everything you could here okay you're heartbroken about something you have to leave um but you gain so much all right so for advice number one open your fucking eyes and see that there's something incredible that it trumps out everything okay that you are letting go all right so advice card number two the full card in the reverse so when this card comes out you really have to pay attention to what is around you um is there any path that you're taking that could be more detrimental than helpful for you okay because this is a person that if they continue to go down the path they're going on they're going to hit a lot of road bumps sun card in the reverse Nine of Wands in the verse. So be very alert, guys, because there's something that is very burdening for you that you have to get past. It's blocking blessings for you. Um, it's just, it's too tumultuous. Okay, way too heavy. Um, and yeah, you have to think about it. What do I truly get out of, you know, having this work for me? Now, I definitely see heartache and debilitation when it comes to letting this go or just disappointment. But you guys relieve a heavy burden and because you're able to do this, you accept something that pushes you on the path that you are meant to be on, okay? For some of you, for advice card number two, um, there could be something from your past that attempts to come back into your life. Uh, it, it could be something that you want to celebrate at first, but I just, I don't see it being something genuine. I see someone or something that can't be trusted, although... Um, it may come in such a beautiful form, okay? So just be cautious. Um, there's definitely something that's just blocking things out, and it, it's kind of like dancing with the devil, and I always say that the devil is everything we've ever wished for, okay? The devil's not going to come with a pitchfork and, and horns. It's going to come as something you strongly desire. So the devil will be masked as that today. Are you strong enough to say no, okay? Advice card number three, guys, we have the king of cups in the reverse, this could be someone who is a player in love. This could be someone juggling people. This could be um, emotional insecurity, manipulation. Someone who doesn't have a hold of their feelings. They're kind of all over the place. Okay, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Very interesting. Let's get one more card for advice number three. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So with the Queen of Cups and King of Cups in the reverse... There's definitely, I, I feel like there's something maybe you're trying to work through that it upsets you or someone around you guys. This is just showing that whatever that is, whatever fallout this is, you're, you're getting victory. Although um, in the beginning, it just could be hard for you emotionally. Um, a lot of people are going to be tested today because there's going to be a lot that comes in, I feel, from the past. Or um, it's like you're presented with something you've dealt with before. It's like you have to stand your ground against that. Yeah, strength card in the reverse. Something that you guys strongly desire that it does you no good. Okay. The worst that could have happened here has happened, guys. But there's really a need to be self-sufficient and to emancipate yourself from anything that 
Um, just brought you burden in the past. Yeah, I see something that wants to come in and there's passion there, but there's also part of you that's just like, you know, this doesn't feel 100% natural anymore. So there's that reservation there. Okay. So this is your daily energy for today, guys. Um, if you want to check me out on social media, my regular Instagram, my personal Instagram rather is High Vibrations 44 and then my tarot page is High Vibrations Tarot. Um, if you guys need a reading or anything else, everything is in the description below. Take care.